What's up guys, I'm Chris Doughty, aka Doughtonator. Welcome back to another video. Here we are in a top split lobby late at night, so the strength of field isn't quite 100%, uh, but um, quite a few A-plus drives in here. We're lined up pole, and we got for our, um, our warm-up, and I noticed uh, two things here. So if you look on the um, feed here, uh, the two drivers, Vegas and Scorpion GT, both uh, threatening drivers in this lobby, on the hard tyre, so we're on the medium, I now think that I'll be offset on the strategy. So we just exit, uh, switch up our tyres and put the hard tyres on to start. We want to be uh, in line with their strategy. So we're racing them uh, door to door. Vegas lined up second, Scorpion GT a little bit further down the grid, but um, a very fast driver. And here we go into the race. Um, I had a good qualifying time this week, um, put a really good lap together. I think it was uh, top 150 by the end of the week or something like that. So here we are lined up on pole. Uh, Vegas is only 0.01 second behind us um, in second place there. Popcorn, the Italian in third as we are burning fuel on the line. Big difference this week is that GT Sport has been updated and the pit times have been greatly extended. So whereas before the uh, pit loss time may have only been like... Um, seven or eight seconds now we've got a full um, 20 to 30 second uh, pit loss depending which track you're at as we are going to begin the race now starting on the hard tires um, as we saw from the uh, graphic before uh, the drivers around us are also going to be on hard tires if we get the tires warmed up ready for turn one we take it very cautiously um, vegas is right on our back door uh, through turn one i think he had to check up for us there uh, it's compromised his exit a little bit um, but turn one at Red Bull Ring is so easy to get a penalty um, and we wanted to get through there clean on the very first lap. Breaking into the uh, turn number three, uh, that kink is counted as a corner. Um, looks like Popcorn's just looped out there, so the Italian spins out from third place. Uh, that's going to blow his race, uh, which leaves Vegas in second place and free to mount a challenge on ourselves. A bit of a gap to uh, third and fourth behind there. Uh, the hard tyres are probably coming up to temperature by now as we stream through, getting ready for the double left-hander. Uh, difficult corner to um, carry speed through uh, and make sure you don't lose too much time running out to the kerbs as we did in our qualifying lap um, and then into the second part of the corner now. Um, it's looking like Vegas is closing in massively. Um, now, at the time, I was 100% sure that Vegas was on hard tyres the same as us. As Vegas looks for a move there, we close off the close off the uh, the move there. Um, I was 100% sure that Vegas was on the same tyres as us uh, during this race. Um, and I just thought that my pace was off. I mean, you can sometimes have it where you're not quite in the groove and you're basically uh, half a second or a second lap off the pace. Um, but I felt good driving the car. Um, but Vegas was all over the back. As we go defensive uh, down to turn three, uh, we're going to hop back on board now as we are side by side in, into the braking zone. Uh, Vegas later on the brakes uh, gets it stopped, leaves the space on the inside. Great racing from uh, Vegas there, but as you see, he's just driven around the outside of us. And um, this is where the doubts were creeping in. Uh, I'm on the hard tyre, but there's no way on earth he can be doing that kind of uh, pass on, on equal tyre to myself. Um, but I was pretty sure from looking at the feed in the warm-up that he was going to be on hard tyres for the start. Um, so now our goal is just to try and uh, keep with him, uh, stay in the slipstream. Um, my suspicion at this point, look at, at the way his car was driving and the way he was able to outbreak me, that he was going to be on the medium tyres. However, there are other people that I saw that were in the, the, the kind of the lobby warm-up. Um, they were also on hard tyres too, as we just missed the apex there. Um, yeah, that was a very poor corner for ourselves, which has basically dropped us out of slipstream range of Vegas. So he's going to start to check out. We're under threat from uh, Extreme Gamer, and uh, Scorpion GT has got into fourth place from a little way down the grid. So he's coming through the field very quickly. Again, another driver I, I was 100% sure was on hards in this race. Um, the strategy for this race is you have to use hards and you have to use mediums so everybody will pit um, and the amount of time you use on the hards is as, as little as possible. It's quite high tire high tire wear um, so I think the um, the medium tires will only go seven or eight laps 
Um, so we're going to be looking to get rid of these hard tyres by about lap number four. Um, as we look in the uh, top right there, uh, Extreme Game is closing it down. Uh, we're catching Swaz on the exit of the corner there. And uh, Vegas is still starting to gap us, um, which is... I, I, I just honestly thought he was on hard tyres. I then started to believe he was on mediums. Um, but then the doubts start to creep in. Um, and you, you start to tighten up with your driving and then you don't drive as good as you could drive you start missing apexes you start um, not turning in very positively and then uh, you, you just start to lose lap time as we run very wide there uh, keep it in the track limits which is exactly what we need to be doing but we're under extreme pressure now from extreme gamer um, he's not going to make the move into turn one which is sensible uh, for him uh, making a move into turn one compromises both drivers significantly and um, I think he's going to go for the move here I don't defend it I want to keep my race pace as high as I can uh, we're not really fighting for track position at the moment as he barely gets it to the inside we go side by side um, and that, that compromises our exit a little bit uh, Scorpion GT now side by side with us into um, turn number four here as we on the downhill braking zone uh, we kind of let him run through. I, I'm, I'm trying to um, keep my race pace high. Looking back, gap to fifth place is quite a significant one. So it looks like it's a race for the top four. Um, and we're going to try and hang on to the back of uh, Scorpion GT um, as we are going to go through this corner here and try and keep our speed as high as we can. We're going to go one more lap on these tyres, I think, running up to lap number five for our pit lap. Um, but now looking at the, the, the deltas, it's two and a half seconds to the, the leader now as we are kind of starting to make mistakes. Um, although the hard tyres aren't really wearing that much, um, trying to keep with the pace of the cars ahead, um, it, it feels like too much to ask. And at, and at the time I didn't know whether that was just down to my pace um, or whether they were on uh, the medium tyres. Now, yeah, as I said before, I honestly thought they were on hard tyres. Uh, but we're going to get to find out uh, at the end of this lap which would normally be the pit lap for any hard tyre users um, as we still go um, personal best into sector one um, I think maybe with some uh, slipstream assistance um, and the cars ahead they're not quite getting away which was another thing that, that brought doubt into my mind because if they were on uh, medium tyres I would expect them to get me by uh, quite a large margin um, so Scorpion GT we've seen him before He's a very fast driver, A plus rated driver, so um, we're looking to hold on to the back of him. But yeah, you see, just pulling the gap um, as we are pushing to try and uh, keep up as, as much as we can. Uh, breaking through this left hander here, we get a little bit wide, uh, get on the throttle perhaps a little bit too soon, and we are making our way now to the, uh, the pit entrance. As we, oh, we've acquired a, a 0.5 second penalty for must have been track limits uh, on that corner just a, a moment ago uh, as we're going to pit um, that 0.5 second penalty really did throw me a little bit more uh, but we're going to get the medium tyres on now uh, the pit stop time as you'll see how we're, we're going to run it uh, without fast forwarding it just takes forever for the car to arrive in the pit box the uh, the pit crew waiting patiently and here we come um, now the reason this plays uh, a big strategic uh, curveball is that it gives you a nice big gap to um, drivers around you that you would normally be racing so um, as we see here we're now down into 14th position after what's probably around a 20 something second pit loss um, it just separates you from where the the, the, the bulk of the uh, the traffic will be so as we're now switching to the medium tires it's going to give us uh, a chance to to really make the most of the medium tires now we're serving our penalty now. I was concerned at the time that the car behind would manage to skip, a, skip ahead of us and really uh, compromise our ability to use the new medium tyres, but we managed just to cover that off. Um, any more penalty, we would have been uh, in a real bad situation, but uh, we've done okay out of that. Um, now it's looking forwards now. We've got the medium tyres on. We're gonna be looking to close that gap to the leaders. So uh, look on your screen on the left-hand side, the red number is the gap to the leader. 
Uh, that's, the, that's what we're going to try and uh, close down now. We've got a bit of um, clear air ahead. The cars around us would hopefully be uh, pitting as we close into them, uh, leaving us with a, a bunch of free track to, um, to go and get the good lap times. As we see now, I think there was a, uh, I think there might be an extreme gamer who has had his uh, had an accident there and got reset. Uh, other hard tire users are now pitting, so we're now starting to shuffle up the order as the pit stops happen. So we're going for a massive undercut on the leaders as uh, the the Heineken uh, Nissan there gets a bad exit. We're going to make this move happen. Um, we can't really waste any time behind these uh, slower cars who have not yet pitted. They'll be on. Uh, older tyres and um, obviously lower down the field as we make that move happen didn't cost us too much time so that's uh, really good progress there and we are now looking to the braking zone into turn number four uh, clear behind and we're braking just before the 100 down through the gears second gear trying to get to that apex get over that curb and then accelerate out third gear now to fourth gear and then we're going to take this uh, double left hander uh, just balancing the throttle um, as we're now starting to close into the back of the Spanish driver um, looking now ahead Scorpion GT pits with the medium tyres um, at this time I didn't see this, this pit call come in that's pretty early to pit on the mediums um, so I, I didn't actually realise uh, at that time as we were going to clear the Spanish driver luckily he pits as we uh, just sweep around the outside uh, that's absolutely ideal timing for us other drivers now are starting to do their pit stops as we're going to shuffle through and gain a bunch of positions as they pit. Uh, clear track still ahead, so we are making maximum use of the um, the tyres we have here. Uh, Scorpion GT out ahead of us, um, so he's done quite well with his um, his stint. Although I think that's a little early to be pitting from the medium tyres. Maybe he didn't get the maximum out of them, um, but now. Uh, we're going to start to close into the back of him. Uh, during the race, I was still unsure what was going on with tyres. I was really quite thrown by uh, the pace at the start of the race. Um, so I was still reasonably uh, sure that he was going to be on medium tyres, certainly with that early-ish pit stop. Um, and looks like now we're on lap number eight. Uh, Vegas still in the lead. Um, looking at the delta to the leader, we are closing in as we are going to be following yeah as the leader pits now um now at this time i did see this come up and i did see he was on medium tires so i was sure he was going to have to uh, come out of the pits on hard tires uh, and then finish the race uh, as uh, the scorpion barely gets past um the, the car that's going to the pits there and we're close by considering a move into turn one but we think better of it um, what we want to do is want to maximise our turn one, uh, get a good exit, and then oh, two good exit really. As we look now, we are going three wide down the straight. Uh, Vegas out of the pits, Scorpion slow exit, and ourselves in the middle. Uh, we're going to clear Vegas uh, with the the pit overspeed, and we're going to make sure we make this move happen on Scorpion as we get back to the lead. Uh, our pit stop is done, um, and now it's time to uh, look forwards. Um, Looking ahead now, it looks like Scorpion's in this slipstream and he's looking for a move to the inside. He's late on the brakes, um, lit, poking his nose a little bit uh, into an awkward position for me. Uh, but we're going to keep it pinned around the outside, which gives us the inside for the next corner. And we're going to defend this position. We're on the medium tyres. Um, perhaps they're going to be a little older than the tyres on Scorpion's car, but we are uh, making that move stick. So with all the pit stops have taken place, um, we've managed to get back into the lead and we are looking quite strong now. Um, we're on the medium tyres to finish the race. Um, we shouldn't be pushing them too hard. It should be pretty achievable to go to the end of the race without too much tyre wear. Uh, Scorpion GT behind. Uh, Vegas in third place as we are going to break into turn one. The difficulty with this track, uh, the Red Bull Ring, is track limits as we get a massive bit of swaz on the uh, turn one there yeah so so track limits is is huge with this track if you are enjoying this video uh, please consider dropping a like uh, consider subscribing and if you want to hit the bell uh, you'll get notified of all the videos when we uh, launch them uh, we always make great content whether we go live for a live stream 
uh, track review uh, track analysis or uh, race reviews like this one uh, we always aim to make great content and uh, make sure it's something for you all to enjoy as we look now Vegas has made it into second place he's put a move on uh, Scorpion GT now my understanding was that uh, Vegas was on the hard tyres now um, and the gap between ourselves is one second now with me being on the medium tyres uh, I was pretty confident that gap should have been going up uh, and he's going to uh, watch over the next few laps um, my, my level of concern was, was raising as we are going to uh, go into the final uh, set of corners at uh, Red Bull Ring again track limit nightmare here because you run wide and you get half second penalty um, and it really can um, provide real problem certainly when you're taking the penalty uh, down the, the second straight it's, it just scrubs so much speed you lose so much time so now uh, looking at the delta we've managed to pull out a little bit of um, a gap to Vegas uh, 1.3 1.2 seconds um, and we're feeling quite confident now um, as we go purple in the first sector uh, looking good on uh, the first sector pace there exiting the corner and running down the second straight um, it looks like Vegas is, is, is closing down to one second on the on the delta um, this was really concerning me because obviously my tyres are going to be starting to go off uh, and he'll be on the much more durable hard tyres uh, to finish the race uh, as he's under a second now with the, um, the time delta so we are fighting track limits uh, we're fighting uh, tyres that are uh, degrading over time and then also we're being closed in uh, by Vegas in the second place and once he's in the uh, 0.75 um, uh, gap it will start to pick up our slipstream and uh, get a bit more speed down the straight so we're doing our best to uh, hit our marks um, trying to run safe laps and we're not really shaking him um, so yeah the pressure's on here um, at this point we're trying to just make all the, all the apexes uh, not run wide on the exits that was a pretty uh, superb exit onto the uh, straight there but as you can see from the delta we're still losing time um, so this race is very much still open um, the, we've not got this one in the bag just yet uh, perfect apex there into the um, the hairpin corner um, and again wh while I'm making these, these perfect apexes stopping the car uh, great braking zones and yet the gap's still coming down I'm not pulling a gap on Vegas um, now my tyres are wearing more and more each time um, it looks like Scorpion's uh, starting to drop back um, and the fastest lap of the race isn't our own um, so there's always uh, people in the pack that have uh, have good pace um, so we should be on a, a good strategy for, um, for fast lap times because we made the switch to mediums uh, while we have the, the lighter fuel load in our car um, so the gap looks to have stabilised a little bit still just about one second as we are cutting through the final two corners and then uh, onto the main straight now and we are going to start the final lap but then Vegas has pitted um, this threw me completely so we've just been given a golden ticket there Vegas has pitted and it looks like all that time he was he was double stinting medium tyres so he, he's gone for a second set of medium tyres to, to run and that would explain uh, how he was able to hold on to me for pace um, so he wasn't on hard tyres for that second stint he was on medium tyres now this, this as, as always this race it completely threw me so we've got Scorpion in second place I've got a massive gap to him but now for some reason my head's been completely blown by realising that Vegas was on medium tyres um, and I, I've lost a bit of focus so I've now got to deliver the car uh, without mistakes but I'm, I'm a bit thrown by the strategy and sometimes when when you get a big gap behind you and the pressure gets released it can really almost lead you into a mistake while you're while you're on it you are really hitting all your marks um, but I could feel myself even just then a little bit wide potentially coming out of the corner could have been um, a track limits penalty um, what do you think when you're leading a race do you feel confident or do you uh, feel a bit of nerves um, as we come across the, the into the final corner 
um, across the line for a, a top split win. Uh, let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Um, that was a really enjoyable race for me. And I think what made it most enjoyable is the new uh, pit loss uh, time that Gran Turismo has applied. Um, I think it makes it uh, much more interesting for strategy and it opens up um, either the, like the, the it's pretty normally going to be a one-stop strategy, but whether you go for the undercut or the, uh, the overcut, depending on traffic, I think it opens up a great deal of, uh, of options there. Let me know what you think about that. If you have enjoyed the video, drop a like below. Um, if you do want to subscribe to the channel, hit that su subscribe button. Every subscription is always appreciated and we'll catch you in the next one.